Better have my money. <laughs> Welcome to the Bully and the Beast podcast. <laughs> I do like it like that. I think we should start it like that every week. I'm L'Oreal. It's your boy Wax. You. So, a lot of things happened this weekend. One thing, I mean, this week. One thing that happened that I did want to talk about. I just want to throw it in here in the very beginning because it's hilarious. Um, Dancing with the Stars. They have a new okay. host. It's Tyra Banks. Okay. And let me tell you who's on the, the show. You know Vernon Davis, the football player? Yes. He's on there. Charles yes. Oakley, he's on there. Okay. So he got out of jail after the Madison Square Garden thing. Yes. <laughs> so, so he's on there. Sky Jackson, I don't know if you know who she is, um, but she's doing amazing. Now let's get to the juicy people. Yep, Nelly yep. is on there. You, Nelly. He was, it was weird. I mean, it, it was a little weird, but he didn't do terrible. But you know who did terrible? Who that? That bitch Carol Baskins. <laughs> that bitch Carol Baskins was so stiff. It was like, it was awkward to watch that shit. Like, it was hilarious. But not, And then she had the audacity to be dancing to Eye of the Tiger. Mm-hmm. And they put a commercial on during the show. And it was the guy, okay, so remember her husband that she, they said she fed to the tigers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, his family, his daughters and shit, brought a commercial during the show, the premiere of the show, to basically give award money to say, if you know anything about Carol Baskin, (laughs) that bitch Carol Baskin's having something to do with killing my daddy, we got this amount of money for you call one 800 and we I'm like, oh, there. that's gangster though. I that's need the that money right now. I should call what? up. You should. Do you, do you know you something about the disappearance of his ass? Shit, if, it all depends on how much cash it is. It's a lot of money. They rich. No, that family know, got we, money. Man, we need to figure this out. Do you know anything about? I mean, we the only way to do is find a tiger. It was and follow the shit. I think I'm probably dead. It's like 20 years ago. Oh damn, it's too long. I mean, but, what you think? What you think about Dance with the Star? You think that man, you could do it? The bully and the oh beast. my god, yo, that would be so dope. We can I do think it, you can do it, feet, yo. I got some feet work, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I, say, can some, I can do some moves. You've you've surprised me numerous times. Mm-hmm. The piano, yes, that was one. Mm-hmm. When I seen you do ballet, that was two. Whoa, I don't remember <laughs> that, but you probably see me because you probably see me out on the field and stuff like that, or you know, I play Twinkle soccer. Toes is what they called you. Yeah, sometimes they be like, this man out here <laughs> moving around like he got Twinkle Toes for real. <laughs> well, hey, I take that. What? <laughs> Did you, didn't he spin around with them uh, church shoes? So you can yeah. Listen, I'm nice. Unlocked just now, he was on the field with me just now. He Wait, you was twerking with Unlocked? No, definitely wasn't twerking. But that's the kind of dance that he does. No, 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 no. So I don't know here, what you was doing. We was out here on the field and you understand that I was, I'm just more of an athlete, so I could do a little couple of things. You'd be surprised at things that I could do. You'd be like, well, this guy this size moving like that. Uh, wow. Charles Oakley was definitely not repping for the athletes, but I will no. say, <laughs> I will say this, Vernon Davis did a really good job, but okay, bless. him and his partner was a little too touchy-feely for hey. my liking. If he was my nigga, I'd be like, oh, married, I'm coming though? to the practices, huh? Is he married? I don't know. He got kids, like three of them or some shit. Yeah, and he lived with them. So that makes me think the girl isn't a woman, sorry, is in the picture. But, um, you know, there's a little white bitch. So sex she sales, like, sex <laughs> she was a little too close. Yeah. I would have been like, uh-uh, back up from a man. But I think, um, did I miss anybody? Oh, um, um, what's the nigga name from Catfish? Nevs? Neve? Neve. Boy. He's on I got, there. I got, I got a story with Neve. That's wild. That nigga was looking like Pee Wee Herman out this bitch. Yo, that's my, yo, (laughs) Neve's my guy. Neve's my guy, yo. And then I remember the nigga from Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or one of them shits and then something else. I can't remember, but it really is Nelly, the Sky Jackson chick, which I know you don't know her, but she was on Disney and all that. And she, she's killing it. But those are like the main people, like, we look for. And of course, that bitch Carol Baskins. Now, if she gets arrested before this shit ends, so but she like doesn't have a long life in this shit because this bitch yeah. is terrible. She's the worst person. Bottom number zero. 
is her number. Oh. But um, yeah, let's find justice. For that man that was murdered by the Tigers, man. man. It's been that long ago, man. Let it go. Like, you stressing about it. I think his it, name man. is Gary Owens. No, it's no something word, Owens. This, she, got away <laughs> with it. she got away with murder. Certain things. Now you know how to get away with murder. That show should go off right now because we found out how to get away with murder. Feed the motherfuckers to the that Tigers. That show's over. FYI. It is? Okay. Yep. But all right, so um, let's talk about, make sure y'all sign up for Patreon because we put a lot of dope content up there. You get the episodes early and all that good stuff. Y'all, I'm tired of y'all complaining that, oh, it comes out too late on Monday. Well, guess what? On Patreon, it comes out on Sunday. So you'll get to enjoy it and do what you got to do. See the video and check Uh everything out right there. You could talk to Wax one-on-one. Yep. You can see some of the older things that we've mm-hmm. done that was exclusively for Patreon. Yes. And you I get to, like, if we do live shows and stuff online, mm-hmm. you get in for free. So I just now did a boat day. We did boats. We was, the next day we was on the field. So we boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. We came out there. Waxes and, uh, the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Big booty hoes. <laughs> I no. definitely wasn't twerking. Uh, no way. Okay. But yeah, we got some dope content we know coming out there on Poetry. So come out on there. Come holler at us. We're going about to start putting some more shit up there. And L'Oreal finally going to find, see who her gay boyfriend is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I did that on um, Morning Hustle show, on my morning yeah. show. And some guys called up and even a girl called up. These people are so uneligible as bachelors. Like, I, yeah. like yes. And like, I would love I, to help try to find you somebody, Lori. I don't trust so you because all your friends is fucking. It won't even be my friends. Right, me. Listen, they're out here who just is so in love with you. Like, I know he is. Somebody just like love the way you torture me and everything. Like, I just love the way you talk to wax. You're just one of these guys. So I think one of these guys should call up and let's let's try it. Let's let's Let do. Me tell let's you. do a for love, are... for love for love for L'Oreal. Take that, take that. I like that better. Love for L'Oreal because I hinted something that rap or guys should rap to L'Oreal to shoot their shot. She wants them to rap to me like in a verse. Yeah. But do, is that something that's that gonna be like? terrible? I don't want no fucking rapping that's ass what nigga. I'm saying. You don't want a no SoundCloud rapper. Look at rapper. L'Oreal. L'Oreal needs like a, a I'm a boss or something. You know what I'm saying? She needs somebody that, you know. They go this to, is they so go to, embarrassing. They, they, they go to like, uh, <laughs> they go to dinner and, and scrumpets. Lunch and scrumpets. <laughs> Crumpet. No, scrumpets. What's I can scrumpet? See, I can see you over there just, you know, he got to hold your hand and pull your chair out. And then you sit down and he push your chair back in. You need one. <laughs> Wax is crazy. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can see that. Before you had the guy, you know, the hood guy and all that type of shit. I think you need somebody who wears a suit every single day. If he wear tennis shoes, he call them tennis shoes. That's what you need. You need a guy who calls <laughs> What? You, you think that I need sneakers. a guy with a suit? Yes, and I think you need a guy who call his sneakers tennis shoes. So I dated one guy with, that used to wear suits all the time, but this motherfucker with So he went to dress down one time and I'm like <laughs> What was it? What was it? You can't He had on a fake polo shirt. It was like you know if he or not. I was like, oh hell no. This is (laughs) like you gotta I need somebody that can do both. Don't they say that about women? Like get you somebody that can do both. So like I I gotta be the same way with a nigga. Like if you wear the suits, I think that's very attractive, but That's then you got to know how to put it on. Come on, man. Just when don't it comes, the sweats in the white tee, but you got to know how to wear how it. Po- how stupid. polo is fake? They saw polo at Macy's, boy. You could have got that anywhere. You could put it on layaway at Macy's if you can. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't like, even broke. He was just even dumb. Just like, like yeah. he, he bought that shit from like a scamming ass friend. I'm like, that nigga scammed you, nigga. Nah, like, his mom, you know what? His mom and one of his sisters got him broken up with you, yo. If that's one that's one of his Christmas shirts that they gave him. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, sis. Why you do that to him? I had to shut him down. Like, you know me. I told him too. I was like. That ain't Polo. What the fuck you done to that? <laughs> the worst thing you do is keep grabbing a nigga and collar. Like, what's the we see this? Yeah. See this. And it, like, From Polo's China. not even crazy. Like, I can see if it was like, you know what I mean? Gucci or something that you yeah. tried that somebody kind of got over. But like, Polo, you can really pick that up. And like, yeah, man. Just throw a white tee on, bro. Yeah, Get please. Yeah, just take it easy. Stay do out something. The way. Yeah, calm down. Keep it calm. All right. 
So um, let's get into a voicemail. Now, if you need advice, you can just hit us up at this number. It's 347-679-6118. Holla at us. And just leave us a detailed voicemail. <laughs> Very detailed. What up, Wax, L'Oreal? Yeah. Um, I'll be quick. I just got cut off, but it's a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I need some advice. Last year, I started fucking with the shorty, right? Mm-hmm. And as soon as I started fucking with her, she felt like she was a couple weeks pregnant, not even a month. So I had to make a decision or whatever, like, what I want to do with this. So I'm like, I'm going to keep talking to her and that's friends and shit. So we started carrying <laughs> all, all throughout the summer, going on dates or well, comedy shows when I was town to the beach, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? When I checked out with boy Carlos Miller and shit. But, um, yeah, yeah um... As four, she dropped the baby in February, had the baby a little early. Dad never showed up, and I was on my ass for like a year. I was at my grandma's crib, but I, I got back on my feet in, in a year, thank God. Thank God. So I'm, I got all place her, and the baby always coming over and shit. They start staying over, and at this time, Pop's still not around. Um, my girl, five months. Thank you, baby. So, uh, no. He said she was pregnant. And after that, we decided to go ahead and get into the relationship that night. So the next day, I'm getting her a chance to recant everything. Like, I know that most of us was high, like, we just fucked. And I know I, I fucked the shit out of her, so I'm trying to make sure it just won't be dick. And she was like, nah, that's what she wanted to do. So, all right, boom. A month and a half later, I started telling my family everything, like, I'm going to raise little girls. My own pop saying, dad, I'm like, cool. I love this shit because I want to be there. I ain't got no kids. I'm 29 years old. So I started raising girls. My own, my crib like a baby place. After a month and a half, mm. now she want to go back to just being friends. She reevaluating her whole life and all this shit. Yeah. What the fuck should I do? Because I love her. And she, she like my best friend at this point. So I just need your advice. Love the podcast. Bless Yo, him, why friend. do so? It's niggas is always linking up with the wrong bitches, and bitches is always linking up with the wrong like. niggas. Listen, man, you gotta keep her digmatized. She have to go get the blue chew, bro. You have to get it. You gotta get her digmatized. Every chance you gotta keep her fucking dick in her brain. Nah, I think she's still blood of the nigga. And other dude is dead, but you you it's like the dick is like a block. Bow bow, just keep. I keep doing it. Just every time, every chance you get, just smash and vibrators. And right now, because that's the only thing that's gonna keep keep her mind off the other guy. But maybe not even. It might not even be the other nigga. It might be that she's scared that this nigga might leave after her daughter gets attached, and that's another man gone. So oh, now yeah. that she done lost the real father, the bonus daddy. Like, nah, I think I think she see he's getting real invested into it. He said he's bringing it to like is he telling his peoples and stuff like that. I'm sure she's aware of that. So you think, think she don't love him? Um, I think she do. Um, it, it, it's good. It could be two parts. I could see that she could be a little scared. Like, damn, is this guy really going to take upon all this? You know, I'm saying his baggage is not his, and I came up on him that he's pregnant. I think he he already showed that he's he's ready for the long haul. But the last nigga abandoned her. He ain't want that shit anyway. He just got her pregnant and she was just like a pass along. He, you know what and, but that's he what I'm saying. Down. You don't know what he was telling her. But for this Niggas guy, don't. Yeah. Like, if you fucking a nigga raw, it's not because he's telling you, bitch, fuck you, I'm going to be fucking everybody else. No, it's because he's telling you some shit that make you be like, nah, like, we're fucking raw because we're together or we're whatever. I mean, some bitches nah. don't. Some bitches nah, don't care. Me. They don't give a flying... How about fuck. y'all? Uh, how about... T. Diddy and and um, Smith. I'm gonna say and Taylor. And excuse me, Smith. Don't do nothing. But go ahead, T. Diddy. Uh, take that. Take if that. you what fucking a nigga raw, Jesus, what Christ. does that mean? Yeah, that's a Smith. This type of stuff. If I'm fucking him raw, yes, then that's my nigga. Like, and you love him. Like, this is mm. somebody raw. Mm-hmm. That's love. Yeah. That's okay. love. So you know what. That's why I apologize for anybody that I smashed raw and I say that we wasn't in a relationship because you know what? I always say this. That's why I always wear condoms. I said, when you smash and raw, eating a pussy and sleeping in the bed with her, that's your second girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? That's what you don't want your man. <laughs> well, I said not your first. 
Whoever you doing it, that's your that's your girlfriend. You got two, three girlfriends. If you do all you that fall problem, asleep next to each other, y'all woo! go together. That's one of the most. I don't give a fuck if it's an hour. You jump up like, oh shit, no, bitch, you fell asleep. Yep, you, you fucked up. <laughs> you fell asleep. You fell asleep, Close your eyes. bitch. Y'all go together. You vulnerable. <laughs> that's one of the most vulnerable things you could do around somebody is fall asleep, eat. You let this person feed you. Like, yo, would you let your man let another girl feed him? Like, yo, baby. He's like, baby, I'm cooking. you like, I already ate. Like, where you ate at? <laughs> oh, uh, I was so-and-so girl cooking. you like, hold the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I'm not with that shit neither. Like, Hell nigga, you come no. home hungry. And we come home hungry together. as a motherfucker. Yeah. What's wrong with you, nigga? Yeah, you better starve. act hungry, bitch, if you, you ain't. act like you eat shit. Yo, just like the movies. If you seen that shit, you ain't see that shit no more. Nope. If you sit down with a second person, you can't do that. Nah, you can't do that. You can't, you can't eat dinner. You... I get what you're saying. And that's, so, and that's so easy for somebody to kill you, too. You know what I'm saying? These are the most vulnerable things you, you actually do, like eating the girl pussy. Like, whoa. That's like unbelievable. You know what happens? Why'd you eat my pussy? pussy? You belong to me. <laughs> that's yours. That's yours. How you doing? You belong to pussy. me. That's wild what? shit. If you over here, <laughs> go, go. if now if you kiss with your eyes open, Okay, now you like you held one back. Like if you the girls start kissing you, like got your eyes open, is like how would you know? Because then your eyes got to be open too. No, I don't I'm kiss. Saying, I can't kiss with my eyes open. That's like some serial killer shit. No, I be if a girl. <laughs> and my girls eyes big me, too when I'm not high. What? <laughs> you know, sometimes girls kiss me like pull me on the side of the wall. Like, and your like, eyes be kiss. dead open. My like, eyes all the way open. Like mm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so creeped out. I think when I was younger, I was kissing somebody and I opened my eyes and their eyes was open and I was like, that's like a nightmare. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? It's just scary. Like, where are they looking at? Because it's too close. Like, the fuck is you looking at? Like, it's nothing that close that you can see straight, like, and clear. What, yeah, what you, are you doing? You, you think that, you think that is like, you know, when you press that garbage down, like with your foot and the top come up? <laughs> it's like when you when something press what gets your, when something press gets your oh lips, yeah automatically <laughs> yeah, that's how it's supposed to be but your shit don't work if I, let me see somebody with their eyes open kissing I'm like oh this nigga don't want to be there wait so how do you have sex without kissing um that's easy how that's does it easy. start like if you don't kiss first no nah, you just gotta like you know pull their leg up to the side and just like, that's how you uh, start just like. I'm just saying, like, listen. How some, does that get somebody pussy wet? Sometimes they you already playing with it. It's like, ah, you got to play with it a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Ah, <laughs> no, I, I swear to God, like, I think about that when people be like, they don't kiss everybody. And I'm like, well, how the fuck do y'all start having sex? Because, like, I, so I don't think I've ever had sex without kissing. Like, I can't think of, uh. I can't recall a time where, it wasn't like, oh, let's kiss and then we have sex. Like, am I crazy? Yes. I'm not you kissing said, everybody. Listen, if I kiss you. But yo, fuck them? Bit, hell yeah, yo. Yo, it's so funny, yo, because like back in the day, <laughs> and my dude, we had, we had the crib and I was like, yeah, <laughs> That's stop. why you're not kissing, because your ass got all that shit in your throat. Yeah, we might want to hear that shit. Oh, um, so I, I used to always tell my roommate, I would like to tell my boy, like, listen, stop kissing these girls because they come knocking on the door, they wilding. Stop kissing, stop kissing them, stop eating that pussy, and stop sleeping in the bed with them. So he like, yeah, where is born, yo? I said, all right, next time you do that, I'm gonna do something. So three things I did to him: one, I took a girl's shoe. One girl was actually a good girl. I felt bad because she was like a church girl. He was like, yo, we ain't have sex yet. I'm going to try to have sex with her. But you'll go in my room and see if I got any condoms or anything under the bed. Like, look me out, right? You see what I'm saying? So what I did... Why the fuck would I, he ask you to do that? It's retarded. I don't know the Clearly. fuck he, he, he think I was going to look him out and shit. So what I did... So what <laughs> I did... I put, so I put... I grabbed a, a condom wrapper and I ripped it open. I put it under his... um Under his... Uh, You're his annoying. Cover. So when it opened, she pulled it open. I got a, a ripped condom. I turned a porno all the way up and I turned <laughs> the TV off. So as soon as you open the... Uh, turn the... um So when you turn the TV on, you see them uh, people having sex. It was so amazing. It's so the devil. Who yeah. would do that? Anyway, okay, well, let's get back to it because we didn't even... Now I done forgot because I'm high as shit. Too. What happened to, the, to um, this guy? <laughs> See, did he? he has um a girl that's pregnant that's not his baby oh, oh, oh yeah yeah we didn't talk about nigga. none of that shit <laughs> we didn't talk about none of that shit yet 
Fuck you, nigga. I don't know, nigga. Max, you, nigga. no, I'm joking. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Now, we went no, through I'm scenarios. Just... I remember a little bit. Um, no, he it, wants to it, be friends with him now. And you're, and Wax, you were saying that. Uh, man, the fuck nice that bitch, finish. though, for real. Yeah, you got to leave. That ain't. Well. So you try to be in her life and her daughter's life. Nice and you try to finish last ass, nigga. You try to do right by. I mean, well, the next bitch going to reap all the benefits. So she jokes on her. Like, and oh, she's going to be your friend, too, watching you in a happy relationship with your or, real baby. Or she fucked him up, or she fucked him up, and now he don't trust no girls because he, like, he put a lot See, in. See, don't do that, though. Don't let that happen to you because yeah, there's Matt, you 29 years old. Like, you got mad other bitches heading your way. Trust me. Yes, I, and, I, found, I found an angel at 36, you know what I'm saying? So, bro, look at that. 29, and you can make it happen. She Look talked too that. much, but I and love And I her discovered I was dating the devil after like eight years. So yeah, like, what you... this is great. Yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. Like, you just got to be patient. People keep saying that to me, and that shit is fucking annoying. It has nothing to do with my... my it's my, like, more career things or business things. And it's like, you just... You're doing everything right. Just be patient. And you're like, fuck that patient shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm putting all this work in, nigga. Somebody come and save me. So it's, it's like... You, this is just don't go to Tinder. You know what I'm saying? I believe that you're going to find... You know what? Guy. Not Tender, but I am going to join. I'm going to join the dating site. With the Bumblebee? Bumble, because that's where this... Tiffany Haddish met Common. Fuck out of here. Yeah, no, no <laughs> <laughs> because it's capping like a motherfucker. I'm not joining that shit. Because first of all, I don't trust people enough to do anything. DM if I know them, I don't yeah. trust you. So it's like you just gotta, you know, it gotta be organic. You, but, gotta, um, you have to find like a friend that you know for a long time. Okay, can we get back to the topic at hand? Because we keep straying out this listen, bro, you need to listen. The girl want to be your friend. Get You just dodge a bullet. Nobody got time for that shit. No dude is just going to stay away from his daughter that long anyway. So you already talking about, oh, I'm going to go to my family and tell me this baby is mine. That's a whole daughter, bro. There ain't nobody puppy that they want to give to you and now you feed it and now it's yours. No, that's a whole daughter, bro. Nah. And you You're seem not, like a good guy. Yours. Yeah, you're a good guy. Yeah. Find you somebody that de last. that deserves you. And maybe yeah. she does, but her mind just ain't right. And Same I wouldn't lady. sit around and wait for that. Mm -hmm. Like, you can go, again, you're 29 years old. You could go and find somebody that is crazy about you. Not crazy yeah. like she starts bashing your windows out and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, somebody that actually loves you and wants to have your baby and will yes. never turn their back on you and be like, oh, you're just going to be my friend. Like, no, get you somebody that gives a fuck about you and you don't know, and stop you know chasing worse than that. You know, it's worse than a girl that already got a baby that don't even want you. You got to find somebody fat that you got to help get skinny. That's the next thing. Nah, because as soon as you get that bitch lipo, she going to fuck a basketball player. <laughs> she going to break too. her heart and then she going to be fucking and chasing every basketball player in sight. Do right, not well, do it. Well, make sure she real fat so she gets skinny in years. At least you got years with her. You know what I'm saying? Just find you somebody that likes you, loves you, and gives a fuck about you. And that's a genuine, nice person. Give somebody a chance that you never thought you would give a chance to. L'Oreal, the good guy got left by a girl with a fucking baby. They ain't got nowhere to go. Because he still he kept be fucking with her. Mind. Why you didn't? You should have been stopped. Like, when you found out she was pregnant, you was taking her on dates. Like, I understand being a nice guy, but get the fuck out of here. Like Start paying all the bills. Border into the house, taking care of somebody else's kid. You this know, bitch got some nerve. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, talk about we should just be friends. What are you thinking doing wrong? But every, he's doing everything right, bro. If Maybe she he really leave didn't you, fuck this shit out of her. Yo, <laughs> that's what I told him, bro. Get yeah, you maybe you are right. Maybe your <laughs> dick ain't as big as you think. Yeah, he's like, I'm fucking this shit out, bro. You something ain't right. Find you somebody with a smaller pussy because she just had the baby. So, you know, she just had a, yeah, she just had a baby. They That's say they pie. sew it tighter, but maybe, you know, not for yeah. your size. Maybe it was so tight for the last size that was in there. But Ooh. you, you know. I want to hear that. I want to hear that. Now. If he, I hope he won't listen to this time. I hope he's like, man, fuck them and Ben and Ben hung up. You know, well, we listen. gave him a lot of different like array of choices if he listen this part he don't want to hear that shit you know what i'm talking about 
Well, maybe he knows that his dick is big and that's not the case. But she might just be trifling or she could be in love with that nigga still. So all of those things you want to stay away from regardless. Get rid of that girl. Plenty of out. bitches out Let's there. Let's just be friends. That You know what that means? Let's be friends. Her baby father came and smashed her head off and gave her more pumps than you. Be patient. You, be patient. You're... Your your day will come, and it ain't her. Yeah, and don't take her back either if she changed her mind, because then you gonna look like a simp. Like, and it's just ah. gonna be. Come on, she she gonna run you for the rest of your life. She yeah, gonna be about that. That's my daughter. Uh, once you say that's my daughter, you can't give it up, fam. So you gotta take it easy, right there. With and the now his heart is gonna be broken because he's attached to the baby, that's and he's baby. attached. To, she's a clown too. Yeah. You a clown you for know, even having you your daughter in do? this situation. You know what she gonna do? He's like, listen, um, she want to see you, so she got to give you some pussy, y'all. If you want to, she want to sit there, oh, the baby wants to see you to, and have you babysit the baby, she got to give you some pussy. Fuck that. Every time the joke is baby. on her, because ultimately, she had a good guy that could have helped her like raise her daughter, yeah, and instead, guy. she going to end up with a nigga that keep running away from her. Yep. That's what they fucking like, you piece of shit. She well, want more than one penis a year. You know what she is. If you want us to ruin your life, just leave us a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> we got your back. We give you the best advice. We to got you covered. You we you, ruin your shit even more. It'd be hard too when we don't really know everything. So I feel like he didn't really describe her enough. Like what was she? Age. Yeah, yeah she older. Or I 17. need to know like why this bitch is so fucking retarded. Oh, I don't like using that word. Yeah. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's Stupid. not. She, she, she's not one of the smartest ones in the fucking cookie jar. If that even makes sense. All right, now let's get into an email. Yep. Now, if you want to leave an email, these seem to be a little more detailed. This one is for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it ain't as long as that ten page one we had. Right. But if you want to leave us an email, all you have to do is go to thebullyandthebeast at gmail dot com. That's right, and. Um, just be very detailed and Please. we'll read your email, give you some advice. So, one second. We'll throw a little ketchup and mustard on that motherfucker for you, too. A little relish. A <laughs> little, little bit. Little <laughs> it's beans. I put little beans on the, on the hot yeah, dog. Yeah, that's a lot. Sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, now let's get into it. I am 35 and my husband is five years older. 40. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good job, Wax. You're Ooh, learning. Last week. <laughs> All right. So I met my husband while going through a divorce. Okay. When my husband and I met six years ago, I told him my ex and I hadn't had sex in about eight months, and it was my Dream. choice. Yeah. My husband told me he would never go that long without sex. <laughs> yes, wow. Well, well my husband, uh, to, you know, was about to come up. She ain't had sex in about eight months. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's my that's my prediction, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. Well, my husband is sexy, and mm -hmm. I initiated sex with him. And from then on, we're having sex weekly. Okay. Then I got pregnant shortly after we met. It was a planned pregnancy on both sides. Yes. And before we had been together a year, I moved into his home. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Shut your bitch ass up. Is it a girl? Yeah. Shut your bitch ass up. What, you, right. what, what you want? Get, go. Baby. Come get this girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Luna is being a Go teacher. get this bitch. All right. I don't curse no more, by the way. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> I'm just you. Oh, good for you. All right. All right. <laughs> Been together a year. I moved into his home. I only had two expectations. Here we go. Read them, sis. Mm -hmm. Weekly sex. Okay. And we would have a bigger house. Okay. I ain't mad at that. Four years later, when he hadn't made good out on either expectation, <laughs> I decided to move out. Ugh. Well, we're finally moving into a bigger house okay. because he inherited one. However, okay. at some point, we had not had sex in six months. Wow. I literally heard, every, <clears throat> excuse me, I literally heard every excuse in the book. It's my attitude. He has internal hemorrhoids and can't <laughs> poo, so he isn't in the mood. He has low testosterone. 
He's already taking sleep medicine. Well, I have changed my attitude and I'm on medication. He has also <laughs> been tested for low testosterone and he's fine. So I think even though hemorrhoids have a small part, <laughs> it could have been because I gained about 40 pounds during the pregnancy okay. and after. Well, I have lost That's all of that. Okay, okay. Well, I've lost all of that and I have kept my entire self up. Well, my husband likes to match me from head to toe, oh, likes to match from head to toe. So I got some outfits that I knew he would like, and he made fun of my, and he made fun of my telling me, oh, and he made fun of my telling me I think I look good. It was beyond his usual friendly banter. Mm -hmm. I don't think he is sleeping with someone else. Whenever I say we should sleep with other people, he said he doesn't want to, and he wants to stay together. He also mm. says we will have sex, <laughs> but whenever I flirt, I flirt or throw it at him, he is in pain or something <laughs> else. I'm not laughing, but go ahead. That seems awfully convenient. I tell him I haven't reached my freak potential yet, and I have so much more to give. Man. I think I have awesome Smart. sex, and men always wanted more of me after sex. The only mm. thing I came up with is that he has stopped drinking alcohol and that's possibly the only reason we're having sex weekly. Okay. But I feel like I'm missing something because he has to be horny sometimes. So mm -hmm. the question is, what am I missing and why aren't we having weekly sex? Am I missing something? She said that they are having weekly sex now and then she said they're not. What is it? No, I think she said um, the only thing... I came up with is he has stopped drinking alcohol and that's possibly the only reason we were having weekly sex, basically like, cause he was drinking. So now that he's not drinking, she's like, maybe that's the reason she's just coming up with anything. Yeah. She's um, trying to, you're trying to pull for it. If Man, it's not it. a medical problem, like erectile dysfunction, then he's definitely cheating. And a man uh, is telling you oh, right. not to fuck nobody else because he doesn't want you to fuck nobody else. Yes. Yeah, more people. And in, in our circle, we only, if, especially if I'm already doing it, the fuck, we gonna get more people in our circle. That's yeah. disgusting. A nigga will, a nigga will definitely act like, listen, he's cheating. I don't think so. I think the hemorrhoids got a big part of it. This guy's not. Why out don't you get something done with them? With, I mean, I don't. I never had hemorrhoids. Praise the Lord. Um, I heard they're very painful. So I don't think you pull your pants down to everybody. And, but you and keep them smash. forever. I don't even know about them. Like, how I don't you know shit about cigarettes? hemorrhoids, y'all. Let's Google. So I, I need to know. Thing. I need to know. It's not cigarettes. It's from straining yeah. when you poop. Yes. It's like every time you smoke a cigarette on a toilet and you go like this. You don't have like, to be. No. Open. No, shut up. You got to open your legs and go like this with the thing. Whatever fumes come up from putting the, the uh, ashes in the toilet. That's not it true. It comes up and get you ashes. I know somebody I that had hemorrhoids and he definitely didn't smoke anything. But no, he went no. to the doctor, and it's something you could do. Like, it's not, yeah, it's, it's like a stool softener. It's this stuff you're supposed to know about this. Prune, prune juice. No, because more, more men juice. get hemorrhoids than anything. So, what you need to, you should know about this, Wax. No, I go to the bathroom like three, four times a day. I'm who's okay. who's walking around behind you? There's no guys around. I want to know lot. if somebody had. Un uh, uh, if anybody had hemorrhoids before, get on unlock. Unlock definitely had hemorrhoids before. Come on, unlock. Have you ever had hemorrhoids? Especially because, like, I think straining with your butt, hemorrhoids, unlocked. Get it? Oh, I smoked the Jason. <laughs> <laughs> say what my boy say. His boy. He said he's getting right for you. You see, he lost a lot of weight. He looking good. He got a new show. Shout out to Jason Lee. Look at this, look at this look at face. Y'all y'all check out his new show. What he got? What's his new show called? I think it's called Gaggling or Gag is a ga Gaggling, I believe. But it's funny. Jason Lee, you gonna you gonna be entertaining, Let's brother. But you know, unlocked is just like he is all ecstatic. I he told him, you know, he didn't know that we changed his name. Yeah, he didn't know. I told that him. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he ecstatic about it? Do you love it? Yeah, he thought it was so funny. Yeah, that's he funny. loves your name. But your name. um, so unlocked. Have you ever had hemorrhoids before? No. Do you know anything about them? Like how you 
Why are you laughing? Because I just know it's disgusting. I think Schultz had it before. Cigarettes. So, okay, did you hear him say he couldn't fuck because of it? He said he couldn't shit. Yeah, so I just think you can't shit. You don't want to have sex. It's from straining, like, on the toilet. I don't think... T. Diddy or, or Smith, did, did y'all see if you can have sex while you have hemorrhoids? I'm just saying, you can't have sex. Right you can. You can have sex. It's in the book. Well, Smith, Smith oh, knows yeah. some shit. Hold on, y'all. Smith, Smith knows some know. shit. Smith. Where's I'm still thing? scrolling. I'm, like, <laughs> trying to figure out, like, if it'll... Because the thing is, they're saying, like, it can clear up in a few days. That's what okay. I, I don't so think I'm you just keep like, that. I feel like that's a weak excuse. Like, I just think. These are all this excuses. Point. This nigga said he has that's low testosterone, bad. bro. Like, that's and funny. they went to the doctor and that was a lie. <laughs> this nigga is cheating. What, what other excuse you got, Rex? She you know lost saying? the weight. It ain't the weight. Are, yeah, listen, if your stomach is hurting, is you don't want to have sex when your stomach Every is fucking day for years? Yo, if right now my probation officer want to come have sex with me again, guess what? My stomach hurt again. Because that night she wasn't getting shit. This is his girlfriend. Okay. Well, she said and she then the only life. reason he got the bigger house is not because he was like, yes, baby, I'm going to give you the bigger house. It's because he inherited the shit. That nigga don't I give a fuck it. about you. Fuck this nigga, B. Yeah. He brought her along, though. That's, that's a lot of caring. He brought he her what? her raw. He came, he brought her along to the house, so he do care about her. Because he was lonely. And if you think you're lonely how... now, wait yeah. until tonight, nigga, in that big, creepy, inherited house. I don't know, for some reason. Somebody I, died in that mother. It's haunted. So he's like, bitch, come live with me, please. I need to sleep. You need to have kids and everything. Bring the kids. Then he ain't got to pay rent no more because the fucking house. Yeah. Respect. So he's not really a bum at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Refinance. Why not? Like that. He's Go doing bum ass shit right now. Yeah. Not really. He's a good guy. I think I don't. I don't think he's that bad. Have you, you ever felt like not having sex for that amount of time? Um, when you was cheating, right, or without? Oh, I mean, before I spent shit that long. What the hell is going on? You know what I'm talking about? Like, somebody, like what I was the longest somebody. amount of time before now? Obviously, before your relationship. Now, what was the longest amount of time you? Had I was. Ever I was gone? going. I was going. Uh. I was doing four months, three months. I was going from October. I had a sex sabbatical every year from October to January. Because you chose not the bullshit that you made up. And no, said, no, no, that was real. I really was doing it every year. Wax, well, you serious. were still fucking when you were saying that you were celibate. I was, I was, I was, I wasn't doing nothing. I was chilling out. I, I still had to go to work, but I, work didn't count. You see what I'm saying? And by work, do you mean when you was escorting? That's what I'm saying. Yo, I, Wax, I, get the was, fuck out that, of here. Well, That's it, what it I'm saying. You ain't never stop. Be serious. I am being serious, but that listen, that was that was. But you bust that nut. No, I didn't. Never did. Oh my god. No, I didn't. This nigga be no. capping like that shit is crazy. No, I didn't. Anyway, so help this woman out because you're making me sick. All right, Miss Lady, this is what we want you to do. We want you to flirt around with one of his friends. And act like you want to get him the pussy or see if he smoke weed. Flirt around with the weed guy. Because if you got him Roy, he's smoking weed for sure. <laughs> Something like that, that pain. No, out. that's not it. I'm telling you. No. It don't have nothing to do with smoking. All right. Well, just flirt around with somebody that you know that he's going to get his attention. I don't care if it's the fucking milk guy that's coming over, the cable guy or the cable. And when he's home, and then ask, make sure you have that little fucking sexy dress that you want to get fucked in. And you know, flirt around the house a little bit. That act like just keep flirting with him all day. And then when the, when the guy come over, you keep the flirting going on. And let's see if he be like, you know, nah, this is my shit. But if he lets you keep on flirting around with the fucking guy, no, he don't want her with nobody else. Cause then he would have been like, yes, let's have an open relationship. He don't yeah, want her with nobody else. So he will be jealous. Guy. Yeah, yeah, but well, he's that's talking what, that's somebody what she else. Need. That's what she Follow needs. him. Follow him. Don't follow him. You got you got too much things to do on your. You just get a private get a yourself. private investigator. Nope, take that. Take that. I have a question. When Talk. if he's fucking someone else, why can't he fuck her too though? Like nah, yo niggas is just like that. Yeah. Niggas is like that. So maybe he just finished fucking. He tired of that pussy. <laughs> maybe he, he tired, tired of the pussy. 
He's he not going to like just it. say that. Think about it. What conversation is that? Yeah, your dick got that, that's, that's, that, that, that's what that's what goes. Your dick is goes. trash. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, so that's why I'm fucking somebody this. else. And ah. but I love you though. But I love you. I love you. I'm just fucking her. I love yeah, you. I love you though. I that bitch is. I need to take that you. bitch to get a snack, nigga. Nope. Nope. I just put my dick in it. I just drop this dick off and I keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. I never but you pushing. keep that, but you hold that pussy down because you my bitch. Yo, we go on vacation together. We do. I do anything I with you. I kiss you in public. You're, yo, you're my like, girl. I you're love my you. You're my Instagram. Yo, you're my Instagram. You're my Instagram. But I'm fucking her. Yo, you want me to delete the post I just put up? You want me, want me to delete that? I just put up today. I bet you don't want me to delete it. You want me to delete that nice comment you put on there? Niggas just do that. Like, and then the they girl's start. doing that, but not like a guy. I just feel like. That means he's putting his dick in anything else too. Like I don't know. I just feel like. Uh, <laughs> the, I be wearing no fucking thing. Pussy hey, is hey, pussy good at job. the same time. So how did that pussy like? Now you don't want. I don't know. I just yeah. You know. And then that pussy gets old, and then he gets another bitch, and another yeah, bitch, and not understand. even while he has that bitch, I have another one. Yeah, the but you gotta understand. You got two lips, pussy lips, and and, put, and lips on your face. If the pussy, the the lips on your face, would make your pussy down there dry and not want people don't want that shit so you, you got to shut the fuck up and then you pussy down there be better that niggas feel sense? like that that's a fact niggas yeah. feel like that if she's giving him first of all she's Ooh, she's time for that shit on him about not fucking now is that <laughs> sexy like no, think about man. it think about if a bitch is arguing with you about fucking do you want to fuck her nope. if a nigga's no. arguing with you about fucking are you or sucking his dick does that make you want to get down on your knees? Like it don't. Nah, nah it got to be some sexy shit. And yeah, these conversations but, seem unsexy. Yo, and all and every time your man like yo, we have sex and stuff like that. You are having you are sucking dick in elevators. You know what I'm saying? You're going to the nightclub and giving people smashing in the, in the stall. Oh, you think she's cheating on him? Uh, I think she wouldn't be complaining. Yeah, I mean the girls who complain. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying the guy complain talking about he don't want if like yo, what you ain't have sex in a couple of months, and she be like, oh, it's okay. Man, her boss has got her ass over there, bent over on a fucking, on a fucking thing. It's just not exciting because she got something more exciting. Like, you know, I'm driving a a, a fucking Bugatti, and then I got to go back to the Honda Accord. <laughs> like, ah, that's so that's so fun. You told bit. me that y'all only like the roller the roller coaster ain't fun every day, is what you told me. It's not fun every day. And you can't drive the Bentley A way and shit. When you in a hood at late at night at I a light, it. bitch, you don't want to be in it, that but Bentley. You can't own that shit though. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't own the motherfucking Honda you over here playing around with that Bentley. That Bentley gonna still stick in your mind too much. It's going to stick in your mind too much. I don't it's think it has guard. anything to do with down. a comparison of a Bentley and a Honda. But I do think that once a nigga starts fucking somebody else and you start nagging him about the fucking, it becomes <laughs> all less sexy. And then yeah. you, and he, the only person screwed is you, but not literally. Yeah. You get us literally, then when you come, but then not when literally. You come, when you when you come holler at them, you ain't eating a couple of days. You you ain't put the makeup on because you don't feel sexy and look sexy. So now you over here all fucked up, looking all crazy. But look, you bounce back right now. So go find you another nigga. Fuck what he yeah, talking about. Yeah, Once it. you get your groove back and shit, that nigga gonna be on your dick. Like when you stop yeah. bringing up other shit, like. And you just worry about what you got to do. That nigga's gonna be sick, yeah. trying to figure out like why she not bothering me about fucking no more. And he gonna be trying to stick that dick everywhere. Everywhere. And he you're gonna not gonna some... want it, just like he ain't want your pussy. Yep. You gonna try? He gonna he gonna try to put his dick in your ear. He gonna try to fill up every fucking hole. You ignore his ass and act like you. Yeah. Don't, don't even bring else. that shit up. Don't even bring it up no more. All right. You All right, me, my you nigga. Me, I said, All right. You, yo, you know what she used to say? That's the last time I'm asking. If you say that's the last time I'm asking. <laughs> nah, but if you said it before, it don't work. You can't yeah, say it twice. Yeah, yeah, like, you, can't you, can't, it twice. you can't say that twice. But like on some shit, like sometimes you just got to let a nigga shoot they self in the fucking foot. Like yeah. that's it. He did it to himself. So keep that pussy away from him. Go find you somebody else. Be low with it though, sis. You don't want to get kicked out. Be low and, and high. Uh, Be low and high. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if he it. can't provide, get don't get you a, a, a August Alcina that's going to tell on you nah, in a couple yeah. years. You Find you somebody. Yeah, get you somebody that has something to lose, too. 
But like not not to the point where somebody's coming looking for you to kill you because you fucking a man. Yeah, but yeah, they just got that. something to lose as far as like they not gonna be messy putting your shit out there because they give a fuck about how they look. And not your friend's shit. boyfriend because he definitely got a whole Please lot to do lose. That. That's what Lori was uh-huh. saying. Somebody else got something to lose is your friend's boyfriend. That he got a whole lot to lose. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them want the the friends to find out. That'd be a fight. So not too much to lose. Just enough to lose. Just enough so that they don't tell on your ass. That's it. That's it. All right. Now, hopefully you got some of the advice that you're needing. Yeah. Um, All right. Let's get the screen bigger. I'm still a You know, we can hear you stuff. when you whisper. But um, but yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so you already know what to do if you need advice. Now we're gonna keep it pushing. But first, we're going to talk about Blue Chew. Yo, hey, man. Listen, Unlock, remember that time that you used to be young? Because you look crazy as hell in the field today. Like, y'all should have seen this <laughs> old-ass man today. So I know that he ain't getting up like, he's, like he was back in the day. So you should really get this Blue Chew pill, man. It's chewable. It's, it's the same FDA approval as... Um, it's the same um, ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's going to give you nine-hour meat. Because there's no way that... You should have seen this old man out there today. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and um, he could take that anytime, any place, anytime, anywhere. And, and it's chewable. It's working like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you come a discreet package to your crib. So like you, you, don't, you don't want your girl knowing why you became He-Man in so many weeks. Hey, she ain't got to know it's blue chew. It's gonna come so if she doesn't package. know... Yeah, if she doesn't coming. know, that means she doesn't have to split that five dollars shipping with ah, you, right? But it come free though, so he got mm-hmm. five dollars. He's got to be out here doing all this camera stuff. He been out here with me, you know what I'm saying? He making moves, so you know he got enough money. He got he can do that five dollars shipment. So listen, y'all need to get Blue Chew. Go ahead and use that promo code B U L L Y. Like me. Chew dot com and try it free. No, B U L L Y. Is the promo code like me and the website is bluechew.com. Yes, B L U E chew.com and try it free today. That's what I said. So is Unlock gonna go over there right now? He needs to do something because yo, yeah, I need to. <laughs> this old man, you should have seen this old ass dude today. I'm like, there's no way you pumping fast or pumping in the way you need to be pumping moving like that. There's no way. But this special is just for Unlocked or is this for? Listeners and everybody. This else. is for oh, mostly for our listeners. This is really oh, okay. Do. Yeah, Perfect. put that put that promo code in there, man. Go go ahead and try it free today, man. It's, don't don't forget, free is the magic word, and you know, five dollars is easy. Yeah, and ladies, you could buy it for your man and go get that dick. Yeah, because it's for them too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. You think it's for the man. It's for the man's pride and it's for the woman's stressed out pussy. You think this would be good for the last, the woman that wrote the email today? Yeah, I think she needed. it. She I, know, give I, it to I, I, no, I think I think it's for that dude. That's what, what I'm I saying. Could. She could buy it and give it to him. Yeah. It's think, all think, natural and everything, so he should be fine. And it's and I heard it's not gonna incite your fucking um hemorrhoids so you'll be good you didn't hear that stop lying you just made that up but it's Blue okay Chew does it all okay well let's get back into the show now we're gonna do l'oreal's i mean we're gonna do the round table starring l'oreal Yay. so t diddy always writes it wrong and she tries to mess me up so it does. makes me say it wrong but okay. it's fine so we're gonna talk about kanye west <laughs> Why? I don't know anymore. He's such a big <laughs> disappointment because, I, you know, anybody that really, really knows me knows that forever I've been the biggest Kanye West fan. And he's just like, I get that he's not all the way well in his mind and I don't judge him for that side. But forever. it's just like sometimes you feel like, Kanye, is this fake or real? Like, are you really you being, know, you know what I mean? So yeah. like, um, you ain't that sick because you, you got <laughs> billions and millions of dollars and shit. So. Genius. But, you know, so anyway, um, he basically had some things to say about Jay-Z. Now, one thing he did say was that these labels are doing everything by, like, being a crooked system. He said, don't let the system put us against each other. Jay-Z is my brother. I have eternal love for all artists that have been through and are still trapped in this crooked system. Jay still doesn't get his own masters back for 10 years. I will see to it that we all get our masters. So, um... Yeah, he's going to be the voice of the people. 
So what do you think about this? Uh, Kanye, um, you know, as much as, <clears throat> as bad as it may seem like he's going the wrong way, he is like stepping on doodle and he put out the fire. You see what I'm saying? It's like he does things the wrong way, but he, you know, he does things Kanye's way. I I'm do want to add, mad. hold on. He put a post up that mm -hmm. said that Jay-Z sold his, he sold Kanye's masters to get his own masters back. Yeah, so apparently it says that it shows that Jay-Z sold the masters of the first six Kanye West albums just so he could get his own masters back. So making it harder for Kanye. <laughs> for him to, to get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, man, him and Jay got a Jimmy and Jay got a hashtag out. I'm sure them two grown men, they're businessmen. Um, Jehovah is a powerful man. If he sure they can negotiate something. And it's just like playing Well, no, they yet. can't because the problem is with these big corporations, you sign these contracts, you see mm -hmm. this money, and your lawyer is like, yeah, that's fine to sign. But the fine print is like, you can't never get your master's. Even if you yeah. have the money, you don't even know where to get it from in some cases. If they want to keep that shit from you, that information Respect. from you, mm -hmm. we know how people can keep information from All you. All day. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to transfer you over there to Bob. And he, he's going to take care of you. Just leave a and message. And Bob hang up on you and then the <laughs> other person leave you a hole for 45 minutes. And then it. there's no that. managers and there's no supervisors. COVID. It's then, he, COVID. Yeah, then you get transferred to the fucking COVID, call center. Man. You got to take it easy, bro. This nigga the is fuck? a mess. That's I don't why Hove can't get back to you. Nah, but I think, I think again, and, and when in that game, they play Monopoly. So it's like, you know what? You did give me Park Place. Give me, give me those railings. Give me, give me for all four of the railings and give me the property over there. I'll give you the map. I'm sure it's some type of negotiation, some, some way, some type of how. Have the Kardashians come over for my daughter's uh, birthday party. You oh, know Lord, I'm nobody I, wants I, I'm, that. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> have Kendall come over or something like that. Sure, have her go over there, paint the girl's faces with her new makeup or something. You know, I'm sure favorite. They all got enough. In nobody gives a fuck about that. This is millions, oh, hundreds masters. of millions of dollars right. we're talking right. about. Like, <laughs> let's be clear. It's called Masters for a reason. There's only That's one the other thing I could think of that you say masters and that's slavery and I'm that's what pussy. Yeah. pussy master i never heard I mean, that. that that rules the world ticket it, master it, nigga like <laughs> i don't know smith do you think that the labels and the artists can ever come to a fair agreement that doesn't get the artist ripped off i don't think so i feel like money runs the world at, at the end of the day Evil. And I just, I just feel like when it comes to something that's been set in place for such a long time, it's going to take forever to change it. And especially if there's tons of pushback, like, and that's why it's sad, like, especially like seeing what happened with Meg, like just artists being screwed over. It's just like, it is what it is. You just got to be able to move intelligently to like Meg figure out how to, how to dodge. Meg the Stallion. <laughs> Oh. He's so annoying. See, Diddy, is. do you think that Jay Z and Kanye West will ever be friends again? Friends? Take that, take that. Friends or like acquaintances? Like, I don't, I don't know. know. Because Jay Z's been saying he like he didn't like that Kanye called him and his wife out. Like he, he just he not. What he say? It was like what was it, like two years ago, something like that, and Kanye just ran him like weird out like on stage. Cause they didn't come to his wedding. Yeah, or something. something like that. They had a nice song together though. They had whole albums together. Yeah, they got nice I don't beats. Kanye the put hate nice thing beats between them though. Like I don't think Jay Z hates him. I don't think Jay Z no. even thinking about Kanye. Exactly, but I don't think Jay Z could respect. I don't think Jay Z respects. Kanye anymore, especially meeting with Trump. Like Kanye, besides that part, I don't think he disrespects what Kanye like how he's trying to get like attention, all that shit. Yeah, um, I think that Jay Z is not a forgiving man, <laughs> and I only say this because Dame Dash. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? What? If you, do you know what happened for real? For I mean, I've heard so many different things. I know personally so many different things, but it's not just one particular thing. It's numerous different things. But, um, you know, in business, 
Sometimes you got to get rid of certain people to make it to the next level. And if Everybody it's like enough every season, yeah, a person with reckless movements and you're doing a more corporate thing, you can't be like that. You know what I mean? Like you can't take certain people in certain rooms and maybe that had a lot to do with it, but I don't know. I know that I don't, I don't see Jay-Z and Kanye Kumbaya. Not to say that he can't be cordial with him. I, I absolutely think he can be cordial. He's a businessman. I'm pretty sure he works with a lot of people. He doesn't fancy, but yeah. as far as them, like going over like two chains, be coming over for fucking Caribbean dinners and shit. At the Kardashians. Scrumpets. No, scrumpets. scrumpets, whatever. Yeah. Scrumpets. Like you say. All right. Now let's talk about Summer Walker and London on a track. Now, she said that she dates men that are, what did she say? I had the worst taste of men. I, like, literally find my childhood trauma and then date it. Okay. She also said she was, like, having the worst day. So, apparently, they had broke up. So, it was all over Twitter. They unfollowed each other. So, you know, they really done when they do that until three days later when they're back together. They're back together? Already. I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, I love seeing couples... Break up just to make up. That's all we mm-hmm. do. I don't yeah. have a problem with that. I just yeah, think that okay. maybe we should keep our stuff off of social media, especially when you're the one posting it. It's mm-hmm. another thing if somebody catches y'all fighting and arguing and they put it out there, it's like, damn, y'all got caught slipping. But it's like those secret messages that you write, the subliminals and stuff, like that's cool when nobody knows you. But when mm-hmm. everybody knows you, it's shit is like, Summer, yeah. are you talking Take about the baby easy. he got coming on the way? Like, it's like, we know what's going on. So you can't, you can't sub a nigga when you got millions of followers. It's not a yeah. sub anymore. That's like, it is. Everybody ooh. see exactly what's going on. Everybody in your window is waiting to see the next move. So you got to take it easy. Like, the world is watching. I'm going to be honest. I knew they was getting back together. T. Diddy, what do you think about that? Exactly. Like, and that's what, and then she has the nerve, and I love Summer Walker, but I don't like that she responded like, you know, I'm not perfect. All we're saying is take it off instant. Like, that's you're going to get mad with people coming at your relationship and then try to Every play the go Like, through you didn't things. put it out. <laughs> yeah, Every relationship is going to go through their things, man. Just don't go off the first initial thing unless you catch your girl giving head. Then fuck that. Man, fuck that. The rest is uh, well, somebody yeah. did that before and regretted that too. Cause then I ain't gonna say who, but he took that bitch back too. But um, yeah, yeah it wasn't Ooh, really. Good. I'm not gonna say she she moved on and the nigga like posted up text messages and everything. So like yeah. I just feel like sometimes you got to be careful, Smith. Have you ever like been in your feelings and wrote up some stuff on Instagram about a relationship that you regretted? No, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I just, I am literally, like, always afraid of people, like, knowing my business and shit. Because it's very important to me, like, publicly, like, we're a unit. Like, I don't Mm -hmm. care if you just piss me off or the roles are reversed or X, Y, and Z. And, like, I definitely do start to type up a tweet and I stare at it for a second and I'm like, let me not do this. Yes! You got that pick. They're always watching. They're always watching. That's a Smith right there. Yeah. Good good representation, Smith. I feel like T. Diddy has written a a message. T. Diddy probably shot shot in somebody's window. I don't don't like that. We don't believe you, T. Diddy. You need more people. I had an ex that did that shit. And that's why we're not together when I write that. Like, yeah, I, don't, wait, wait, I don't like that. Out? I don't like that. It's, it's, it's corny to me. I don't like that when people... That's why I be trying to tell you I stop putting your nudes and stuff out. These guys... I don't post my nigga, first of all. Let's <laughs> get that clear. Like, no. I'm not... Nope, not participating in any of that shit. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. What was something that somebody did to you, Wax, that was like a sub? Because I'm pretty sure that's happened to you numerous times. <laughs> so, like, sub. what was something that you seen, like a sub tweet or text or post that you were um, like, oh, this bitch is talking about me, stupid bitch? Like, I uh, <laughs> like. I don't think I ever did nothing to. Uh, to receive a sub text or tweet? I mean, or, the, most, the most I probably got is somebody did to me is like, uh, God, 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 God watches. So I just read something like God is watching, even though if I can't see or something <laughs> like that, or I could do better by myself. That, no, that do make you scared though, because you're religious <laughs> and shit. It's like God got his eye on you, Smith. That's the worst thing you can do. Oh, call my mama. 
call my mom on me or tell me that God's going to deal with you and I'm not, I'm going to let it go and give him God's hands. Now I'm scared. I'd rather you try to fuck me up. Until you do right by me. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to put God on me. Beat me up with the bat, baby. Fuck me up. Throw water on me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Tell me I ain't shit and act like you don't leave me. Don't leave me, baby. But just act like you're going to leave me. That's going to hurt my feelings. But don't tell me you're going to put God on me. Then I'm like, every time I drive in the car, I'm thinking I'm about to, something's going to happen. I walk outside the house, a bird going to shit on me. Something's going to happen. That's how you get it, nigga. You just, me, you tell him like, yo, you got your karma before. Watch it come again. Ooh. Nigga be sitting there looking around like, damn, this fucking every evil bitch. Pee. Every time you yeah. pee, it's like, is it blood about to come out? Every oh time my God. Shit, like, is it blood in the side of the toilet every time you look? Like, this guy just think about shit like that. Okay, let's move on to little baby and Jada. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know where he just was going with all that, but I had to move on. So, they had broke up once upon a time, and everybody thought they weren't going to get back together. And now they are. They have a one-year-old son. They've been together for a while now. Yeah. They've been together for a while now. So, um, it seems as though him and his other baby mama be beefing a lot. And um, a lot of people say it has to do with the fact that he does a lot of stuff for Jada. But, you know, she says she does a lot of stuff for herself. Even her mm. sister then jumped in and tried to throw her under the bus. But little baby and Jada still going to rise to the top. I even spoke to him before on um, Morning Hustle Show about him saying, or what was it said? Something about him and Alexa Sky, And he denied that he ever even knew her. But he did say him and Jada wasn't going to, wasn't together. But it's good to see that they're back together. Not Jada Pickett, like right? That. Yeah, same person. This nigga is so annoying. You know how she going to be in two relationships like this publicly? I just say, Jada, don't do me like this. I like you on Do the Right Thing. Don't be doing me like this. She's she's not in Do the Right Thing. Dwayne Wayne. What's Dwayne Wayne? That's Jasmine Guy. You talking no, about no, Dwayne I Wayne? No, I know, but but she was on that show. What's that? What's that show was? Different world. Different world. She was on there, right? Yes. And Gina is in Do the Right Thing. No, I'm tripping. Rosie Perez. Oh, because she had the ice put on her nipples. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I don't know about all that. But, yeah. um... Radio Raheem. Yeah, Radio Raheem. Now, let's right. move on. I was thinking of school days and mixing everything up. But anyway. Nigga, oh, you thought... Fucking, you thinking movies and shows and people that we not even talk. We talking about different age range of people. Little baby and them in their twenties. You talking about somebody in their fifties? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> we not in our fifties, man. Stop. Oh, Jada Pinkett and them is in their fucking fifties. Oh, I thought that was, but they was making shows for us though. That was movies for us. We, we was babies. That. We was young when that shit came out. Yeah, Niggas wasn't that. grown watching Do the Right Thing. I feel like I just do that. watched Do the Right Thing for the first <laughs> time a few years ago. <laughs> no, okay, we supposed to watch it. Yeah. yeah. I watched it when I was young, but it didn't dawn on me what the fuck was going on until I was older. Yeah, I kept watching that nipples part. I'm sure you did, you nasty perv. So let's <laughs> talk about Ray J and Princess Love now. These two got divorced 10 times. Oh, man. But supposedly uh, this time Ray J filed for divorce. So this is different because oh. usually it's Princess Love. Now, I remember at one point in time he had said he wanted to move to Vegas. And then okay. she said he left her in Vegas, but he was still in the same hotel. And then she oh, said he didn't help her. She was pregnant, had the other baby, then left him, went back to L.A. by herself. And um, it was just a whole fucking mess. But she said she was going to leave him then. And then they reconciled and everything was good and peachy. And now he's filing for the divorce. Now, he did mm. go and talk about it on a couple places. He actually stood us up today on the morning hustle. Thanks, Ray J. Yeah. But um, it's okay. We spoke to Brandy. But um, also, hey, he was basically saying, like, you know, he wants Princess to be happy. And if it's with somebody that's not him, then that's what it'll just have to be. But he doesn't want her to be stuck in an unhappy situation. Of course not. And basically blaming her. Um, so it was the girl. Never yeah, because you're like, I don't want her to be. No, you didn't. What is she unhappy about, Ray J? Let's talk about that. You want to go get money and, and invent things. That's what Ray J want to do. You I mean, she knew that from the beginning and that wasn't an issue. You so what's know, really happening? You know what you got. That's what I'm saying. You got to know what you got. And at any time, you got to see what, where, how far this guy can go in his morals to what you accept. You got to accept the man's flaws. So if you accept this man's flaws, how far does his flaws go what you accept? And she, evidently, she engage it right. 
Don't get mad because you engage it, right? This been this man, you know who this man is at the end of the day. See, so, Daddy, you okay with being pregnant and a man saying, come on, we're, and you already have a child for him. Yeah, a whole family live in L.A. And mm -hmm. he says, okay, we're going to up and move to Vegas where your whole support system is not. Would you be okay with that? No. Um, go ahead, T.D. Let me hear what you got. <laughs> I <laughs> think that like why would you're not even trying to have a discussion with me you're just saying like oh we're gonna do this and everything else like no what you mean no what are you doing out here i'm taking care of everything we about to go get some more money i'm about to have a support system i'm about yeah. to have a baby i need help i have a t infant oh, I, th th a I thought she already had the baby no the baby was she was pregnant and she had a baby okay Man, so now that I saw in that little conversation thing they did okay. that he don't even fucking help with the, like, even, like, change diapers, none of that shit. And then she was saying, like, he was out with his friends and shit instead of being with her, like, coming home all times of the night. Like, and I get working, but it's like, obviously, it's more to that. Does she have Does she have, she have postpartum? Does he... He, he listen, he the money maker. Well, this, and I'm not saying if he doing wrong is right. I'm not saying that at all. So don't, don't say that. But... If she got postpartums or something and him getting out the house is saving arguments, him getting out the house is keeping her not being stressed because of the baby and stuff like that. And he come at a certain time of the night. Don't see him like, you know, doing bad things. I think she'd be okay right now. I remember mm -hmm. during quarantine, she had said that he would be out with his friends and shit and then trying to come back to the newborn baby. And he was no, mad because cool. he was like, I got a quarantine for 14 days. Before I see my kids, every time I want to see them. Um, if you was she like wrong that, for that? No, Smith, was not, she wrong? I don't think so. No, she's trying to protect their kids. Like it's not even like it's just mm -hmm. for her. Like it's his kids. It's her kids. Like yeah. right. And don't you feel like he's placing the blame on her? Yeah. But what what does he want her to do? Like I'm just confused. Like <laughs> she's gonna protect her kids regardless. So I'm just she, like she probably put a little little ketchup and mustard on it a little bit, but. And when she used that, just 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 like I told the girl earlier, she said the guy said that he don't want to be around. She don't want her to be around people because because of Corona. You really after somebody say that, it's like you really got to put your hands up. Like once she yeah, said, like there's nothing you can she, say. She pulled the Joker. She pulled the Joker card out. You know what I'm saying? So it's really nothing you can say. If a girl you should be, like, be sitting your ass down. Man, you would try all day trying to get pussy. As soon as the girl say I'm on my period, you'd be like ah. You see, that's it. Just, it just go out of you. You know what I'm saying? All that you was horny before that. You ain't even horny no more. Ah, you think about blood and period that you see. Okay, in the all right, all right, all right. All right. Ah. Let's move on. All right. So, um, we're gonna keep in on the makeup to break up segment, and that's gonna be Cardi B and Offset. This is the biggest story Ouch, of man. the Hurt week. My now, by the time feelings? y'all hear this, there'll probably be some updates because I believe she said she was gonna go on her OnlyFans, and we ain't gonna wait for you, Cardi nah. B, for that. Sorry, we love you, but yeah. not that much to wait to record on Sunday. Nah. And, um, <laughs> but I will say, who didn't see this coming, y'all? I mean, I mean hope, like. Hope, hopefully they make back up. Hopefully, hopefully put them back in the makeup to break up or break up the makeup. Hopefully bring them back over there. T. Diddy look like she got something on her mind, child. Take that, take that. I don't know why this is triggering for me, whatever, but this proves my point. And I, I don't care what no one said. I know she didn't get the facts of what happened, why they're breaking up. But let's be honest, I feel like he cheated again. He ain't cheat. He farted in the bed. He and, in the bed. Well, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. In People Magazine, they said a source close to Cardi B said okay. that they stayed together for the baby, but that he could not stop cheating you and she cheat. had enough. Uh -oh. And that's he was why I said that though, too. I'm not doing, she's not going to keep dealing with that. And I, I doubt it. I doubt it. He, he, she like can't get embarrassed. Back. Like she's a yeah. humongous I star. I get what you're saying. To let you're him saying. embarrass her would be crazy. Like of not. she's even though the Migos um are big as they are, they mm -hmm. both haven't had a song out for real in a while. But Cardi B is clearly the biggest star. Like here rocking. So you think that you're gonna let and, and no offense to offset, because again, I love the Migos, but Man, you think that hey. I'm about to let some nigga that's Technically, underneath me and level wise, like let's say she he's a B list, but 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 let's say he would be B list if she's A. You get what B I'm plus. saying? Maybe B A minus because everybody knows the Migos. Like let's B be plus. clear, 
mm-hmm. except for old white people, and that's where Cardi B comes the in. Old, old white people think of the Beatles. They the, they the black Beatles to the old white people, so they know. They old white people don't know who the fuck they are. No, they know. They think they, they, think they the black don't Beatles. know who the fuck they are. No, black they don't. Beatles. They're like, oh, who's these? This jivey hip hop band. Beatles. Like they don't know their name. Like they might have heard the song and been like, okay, I heard this song before. But they know who the fuck Cardi B is. Let's be real. You put the picture up there like that's that Cardi B girl. Like yeah. she's a superstar. They're stars and she's superstar. I get it. You can't let a star embarrass a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. I don't I don't think he really did everything everybody's saying he did. Like you can't cheat is the only thing we're saying. I don't think that he did he all that. He lies. got caught. <laughs> where he get caught? Probably Cardi B time. is going to court still to this day for the case where they beat up uh the girl that fucks with Takashi 69. I, I I listen, I don't think that it was all like that. It's three of these guys, right? He's the only <laughs> fucking one of them. All right, but how all three of them going to be doing? The, the, I don't think that he was doing it. It's three guys. It's Offset that is the cheater. The Quavo is with Saweetie. I just like to see. We don't I, know I like what he's see, doing. He probably changed it. I like changes. to see. I like to Hopefully see. not. It was, it was certain couples that I see to help me stay in my relationship. It's Cardi B. I like to see John Legend and his girl. I like to see Swiss Beats and his girl. I love to see Envy and his girl. You know, Charlemagne and his wife. Like, I see certain things. Um, and That's and Envy's these, wife. And that's Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys' wife. wife, too. No, 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 I see relationships. You know what I'm saying? I see them working. So I look at those. And so when one of those break off, it hurts my feelings. It offset in the There's Cardi no B. way you yes. had Cardi B and Offset yes. Yes. in that, that yes. lineup of loyal together forever couple. I, he cheated I, I on did. her mad times publicly. But no, I get it, but that's I just seen them getting back together. I still see them getting back together. Bro, bring them flowers. I like those flowers last time you did it. <laughs> My girl don't like flowers, so I gotta figure something else out. But I like I those seen them flowers. getting back together too. But you, to you get on stage. to get to divorce. Divorce Smith, do you think she's gonna call off the divorce? I don't think so. Like, I just if he if he cheated again, I don't know. They've and been I separate, just, right? Yeah, they've been separated from what the word is on the street that they've been living in two different states. Yeah, they said she's been living in LA and he's been living in Atlanta again. This is alleged. Um, yeah, they probably was working. People don't know it's work. It's quarantine. He I could. Respect. And he got the baby girl. That's big. Yeah. I feel like if they was really on it like that, she probably would have been together. They would have been together. Yeah. That I mean, um, she would have, I meant to say, she would have been pregnant again. Did I say Will and Jada? No. I'm sorry. Will and Jada too. I need y'all to stay together. I don't want to hear all that fucking out August out seeing the shit. Well, listen, people call off divorces every day, B, but yeah, we'll I see. think it's going to be one. I hope so. Cause y'all, 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 y'all my lineup. But who could be somebody that dates her next, though? Um, you know, who I have to lead, of course. It's gonna be a I hope not. I hope Cardi don't do that. Like, just as Cardi don't do that. Oh, no, no, I think Cardi should go after, um, like a TD Jakes was younger, you know what I'm saying? That's what she needs. I need these girls getting pastors, man. What's what's wrong with the past? Pastors got making good, got her a nice, good pastor. That's what I'm saying. Go get your pastor because listen, that's. You're already at that stage in the world. Now y'all need to elevate in the spiritual world. So go get that other side. Get the dude and from Greenleaf that plays a pastor. I, I don't care if somebody plays a pastor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get one of these hey, dudes. Cardi B just came out with WAP and you think she's about to date? <laughs> That's what she did. Yeah, you <laughs> dealing with this wet ass pastor. <laughs> if you talking about this wet ass pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say ass. So. Oops, I'm sorry. You know, talk to you like this. Like, what the fuck I just say? <laughs> All right, so up? we got to get into who's on drugs. Who's on drugs? <laughs> So, all right, so the topic for today is going to be if, where the fuck did you get this topic from, T. Diddy? Being her. Um, I, which one are you talking about? I only see I one. Two. Oh. Oh. And then I was going to do the kissing thing y'all said earlier about, um, thing. like, do y'all kiss, do y'all kiss without 
having sex. Oh, eyes open. Like, how do you eyes. initiate sex if you're not yeah. kissing? Somebody, somebody start with that because I definitely like every time I think about any time I had sex, it's always initiated with kissing, especially if it's like somebody I'm just come on. You know what I'm saying? You, like you, a new you person. Ain't cheat. You must wasn't cheating because if I got a girl over there and this is I'm way, not way, a cheater. Way back in it. Yeah, it's way back in the day. See, cheaters kiss with their eyes open. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep your surroundings at all times. Kissing with your eyes open is super creepy. And yeah. what if, what if, I mean, I know this is a random topic and T. Diddy's going to kill me for even throwing this in because it has nothing to do with what we were talking about. Okay. But if you're okay. talking to somebody and y'all just dating and it's like no, no rules as far as like y'all just start talking, like y'all on the phone all the time, whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. And um, something comes up like a joke where you end up being like, um, Who's texting you? And the man or woman, whoever you're talking to, is basically like, oh, um, it's like somebody, like uh, some hoes or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's, a, it's probably some hoes or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Now you say something back and they're like, well, it's just texting. Do you feel mm-hmm. like, yes. So do you feel like you should be open and honest when you're like dating somebody and you're dating other people. There's not nothing exclusive. Do you yeah. think that that's something you should share with the person that you're talking to, that you're Hell talking yeah. to other people? Hell yeah. I mean, I'm me being a guy I, that I always been. That's why a guy gave me a son. Another one. Another she one. Came, another one. You, you know, know Cal's got a podcast, but go yeah, ahead. Because I never, I was never the lying guy. I never was lying to these girls. I was never over here telling them, about, oh, I can do this and do that for you to try to, like, try to sneak. I always told the girls the truth. So, no, I don't think that's But cool. I don't even think, what does that have to do with lying? Is, isn't that weird for me to just come out and be like, just to let you know, that was a text from another nigga. <laughs> like, I, but, I don't know. I just feel like that's weird. Yeah, but it's some people I would I would definitely want to know and with all your dealings. If I'm dealing with you, I mean, right now we're doing this. We at least having sex with at least friends. Hopefully, like we just having sex with. Only time people don't like the other person is like, uh, what what guy is supposed to do when you in a relationship? You only supposed to have sex with girls you don't like, and she don't like you either because they never want nobody to ever know that this shit ever happened. You right, because if you like each other, then y'all are in a relationship. Y'all in a whole relationship. Then you're going to have sex more than one time, and then you don't fucked up. Now you're in a whole fucking relationship. You ain't shit. Now you're cheating. But you, people don't even say they're in relationships anymore. You just end up in one. Like, yeah, did you no, and Carla be like, now we go together? Like, how does that, how did that I work? I lie to you. Baby, did we ever say that we was together? I don't, I don't you might be single. Together. She might be single. You don't even know. Yeah, what. you know what? I never think that. Did we ever say that we was together? We never said we were together, right? To each other, like, hey, now you're my girlfriend. Ooh, we got a topic. I want to <laughs> change it. Yo, how do you know you go together nowadays? She just now Tell said. So, she said. She so said no. I, no, she said so. I gave it to her. That was already. I was already. You see, mind. that wasn't that a conversation. Was, it, damn sure it wasn't no conversation. She just. Nigga, how many people fucking? Do that mean Everybody, they in a relationship? No. Now, now I see it is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Shaq. So this ain't Shaq. Yeah. Uh, so who is it? Charles? What we got? <laughs> what we got? What we got? I, so we saying, like, yeah, what is it? What, so what is I it? don't know. I'm looking. I know one thing. It's not Shaq. <laughs> no, so no, it's what's on mute. What's the topic? Yeah, he's on mute. He doesn't know. When do you know you go together? When and the kiss you... one. We're going to put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that kind of goes. And then how soon do you kiss? Kissing is bigger than a lot of things, man. You know a person first before you kiss them. But I feel like kissing and sex kind of goes hand in hand. You know I'm telling you? Ah, kissing is like... You can smash a girl, but kissing the motherfuckers is like huge, yo. You kiss, kissing you and eating his pussy now. is like the same thing. You you kissing lips, eating pussy is like huge, yo. Kissing is huge. I can fuck you twenty times and never kiss you. That's crazy to I me. I never kissed that motherfucker. You bugging if I kissed her. That's crazy. If somebody you doesn't kiss me, we not fucking. You bugging if I eat a pussy? I What's going on with shit. his audio? I don't know. I. Where he at? He's, unmute. He's, he's unmuted. Yeah, you got, uh, you, right, got unmute, you can't bro. unmute it for him. 
I, I did, and it's not working. Hey, hey, you got it, you got it. Jack, what oh, up? Damn, sorry. nigga, sorry, you were talking to yourself <laughs> that whole time. Damn. No, I was trying to figure out the topic. What's, what's going on, y'all? All right, so we want to know, all right, because it's 2020, right? And nobody uh, actually be like, yo, you're my boyfriend, yeah. you're my girlfriend. So, like, how do you know that you're officially in a relationship? Because I'm bamboozled over here. Because yeah, Wax, Wax is single and he didn't even know. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? They never, never had a conversation. It, ever. Oh, shit. Damn. You got kids too. You got this. You got a kid on the way. Right? They, 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 we never. They about to be married and they don't even go together. We not even. Yeah, even we never talked about it for real. That's just kind of wild. That is wild. Yeah, because how do you know? What if? What if <laughs> one day she was just like, "Nigga, you ain't my fucking boyfriend. Why you keep telling people that?" Hold like, on. Did we ever talk about it? And I'm like, you know, we never did. I really <laughs> don't know. That's crazy to me. So Shaq, what do you yeah. not Shaq? Oh, sorry, definitely not Shaq. What the yeah. fuck is your name <laughs> then? Anonymous, you know, even though the face is out there. That's all, that's all is it. his no, name man. Shaq? It'd be funny if his name was just Shaq, right? It's definitely like not definitely Shaq. not yeah. Shaq. Okay. I was, I was named after Shaq, you know, but it's all good. Um, what do you do? Fuck, I normally, before I'm kissing, I I know where this is going. I know that there's a relationship going. I'm not just jumping <gasps> in this shit. I mean, how you? So you wow. talk to her. Would you ask the woman like, "Hey, yeah. so what is this? Like, what is it? How does the conversation go?" Before the kiss, though. You kind of just I don't know. You got to vibe it out. That's how I see it. Like I'm, I wouldn't be impregnating chicks <laughs> without. Yo, Without bro. Yo, he bro. said you need <laughs> advice, nigga. You know, you, you know what it is? He looked like he the guy that look at the girl's eyes for real long and they just stare till one body, somebody come closer and then the other person come closer and it's like, is this about to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's mad hilarious. I am, I'm awkward. Now. Are you, are you that guy or are you like one of the guys that just go in for it? Or you touch the butt a couple of times just like grab her waist? Nah, nah, I'm I'm more the the first one you say, you know. But, <laughs> I can't even remember what the first one was. You yeah, named he, he, he look at the eyes. He look at the eyes from that. Oh, the eyes, so y'all lean in together, like yeah. And then you be like, out. okay, I got the first base. You don't want to get the first base, bro. You want to hit a home run as soon as you get in there. Fuck all that hitting the first base, and then guess what? You gotta wait to get the second base, and then you know what I'm when saying. You do that, when you do that, like you get into awkward situations where you don't even know okay, okay. what you're Why in. are you whispering? Know. Is the do you have a bitch in the bathroom or he's thinking, huh? <laughs> 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 hey, I'm gonna have to go. Love the show. Wax. Oh my I'm god, so to... many levels. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. You ain't gotta tell me. Please. Bye. Right, peace. Love y'all. Blessings. <laughs> Yeah, I, like I swear, T Diddy, I don't even know what to say. I love this type of shit. Sometimes we have some of the weirdest things happening here on the Bully and the Beast I, and I get podcast. It. <laughs> he said, we just Who gave it fuck? to each other. He said, uh, no, but about that person, I got to go. Yeah, but this person <laughs> said she's just going to whoop my ass if I don't hang up the phone. Like, it was just, he kept looking around and shit. I'm like, what, is the kidnapper yeah, coming? Yeah. He's the kidnapper or he got kidnapped. Yeah, that ain't right. He's had Somebody to call is in us. the basement. He the, he the nigga from the shy. He got Keisha in the basement. This mm-hmm. nigga is crazy. He's fucked up. He like said, that. you got somebody else on here? Who we got? Um, Jonathan's on here, but he said his camera doesn't work. Damn, Jonathan. <laughs> Y'all dysfunctional <laughs> on today, okay? Can we can we hear you? Because this, this, is, this is an easy one. This is good. Can we at least hear Jonathan? Talk, Jonathan. Jonathan, he's still on mute. Okay. Yo, what up, brother? What's going on? Man, we try. We, if you can hear us, we we can hear you a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. Audio is a little shaky. Oh, for real. What you got yeah, your finger bit, over? It sounds like you got your finger over your mic. Or, or you, or you had the chin. You rolling up and got your got your phone like this, <laughs> <laughs> like this. Like, yo, what y'all nigga talking about, nigga? 
Damn it. Is that any better? Yeah, yeah it's better. It's better. you did it. Yo. What's going on with you? You need some advice or you want to weigh in on this topic? Uh, Maybe both. What, what's the topic? Start with your advice first and then we get yeah. into the topic. I mean, y'all probably going to clown me, but... It's so, all good. Welcome to the Bully and the Beast podcast. <laughs> we got your back. <laughs> I call it up, nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I got this little little side piece kind of. Okay. But she's not really a side piece because I'm not in a relationship. But you, you know one of those. You can still have a side piece and not be in a relationship. Yeah, she's always number two. You always now you're looking for number one. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the other day I'm like, yo, she kept it a hundred. Like the past couple years, we've been fucking with each other, right? Peace. So like, should I like? I don't know, get her a trophy or something? Or, you know what I'm <laughs> should, should you upgrade her? Should no, you upgrade I don't her? say that. I'll, but, like, you know, just show, show. Show, show appreciation. Up. How I long appreciate. you been with her? Uh, I mean, we're not together. But, I know, um, I know. To, you know what I mean. Uh, we've been fucking with each other for the past couple of years. So, yeah, two years. Um, Nigga, y'all go together yeah, and you don't know. It's kind of like yeah. the opposite of what's happening Y'all in a relationship, bro. And, and do do she do things for you? Because now you want to buy gifts and shit. That's a real relationship. It all depends if she get I things for you. Is, do she do do she do she bring buy you gifts and do things for you like the holidays and stuff like that? No. Oh no. Oh, this oh. is gonna change the relationship. It's gonna change it up. This is literally yeah, like, gonna change it up. Fans. Like she keep it a hundred. Like all we do, we, we we link up. You know, every few weeks. But no matter our business, nobody asks nobody no questions. Ooh. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, yo, this is dope. Like, so you like get, you like, like it like just that, like that, right? And it's been like that, for, and it did, and it's been like that for years. Yeah, just two years, you know. Don't change it. Don't, don't change buy nothing. Shit. Like Yo, once you buy something, she gonna think you're in love. Yep. yep. Don't even don't even don't even fix that broke that broke window in the passenger door. Don't break. Don't even fix that shit. Unless unless you want to turn this up a level. Yep. Now, if you want to turn yeah. this up a level, you get that you get that bitch a bonus. You know what I mean? And yeah. then. You reel it on in, but I think that once you start buying any kind of anything, guess any anything, it's like okay, you change he loves the game. Me. Yep, yeah. love me. I was just gonna like maybe order in next time she comes over. Like, oh, hey, you don't I'm even do that. that. You don't even feed it. Oh, you <laughs> fucked up for that. Uh, nah, okay. Well, are that's you smashing okay. raw though? Are you smashing it raw? Yeah. Man, you've been doing something for her. Yo, y'all go together. Yeah, I've been together, bro. 